sell and a bike to belong to 16 year old Jesse. I think that stories that depict the full spectrum of humanity and life experiences are important to tell and are interesting and are going to reach a wide range of people um, and obviously that includes stories about people with various sexual orientations or gender identities and you know I, I just think it's really important that we tell all stories. The brilliance of this show too as it focuses on this missing transgender teen is that we get to see all sides uh, of a community uh, that are reacting to first of all the fact that she is transgendered and secondly uh, that there are various prejudices that have been under the surface but then make their way up. So uh, I think it's kind of a interesting and complex examination of towns everywhere, yeah. certainly around Canada and in the States as well. Yeah. Uh, and I think by examination, understanding will come. That's, mm -hmm. I think, the intention of our creator and I think it's one of the reasons why we're excited about the show. I just feel that for a long time in this country there was a monolithic thinking that everybody liked the same things. And part of that trend had to do with emulating what was happening south of the border, you know? And it always felt like we were behind the trend of what was happening south of the border. And, and increasingly it seems as if we're taking more pride in our own stories, we're starting to understand that if we can be specific to a Canadian story, that that specificity will translate universally. Mm -hmm because it's just human stories at the end of the day. And uh, so it's really exciting to see that happening, that we're really owning uh, all the colors that we can be here in Canada. Don't trust the guy with the fire in his eyes. <laughs>